Welcome back everyone to Finnegan's Farm. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, as promised, we're gonna go through our calving facility up on another farm. So on this side of the passageway, we have our cows and calves. And on the other side of the passageway, we've all our wainlands and a few bulls up the top. So we're now in here with our cows and our calves here on the laybacks. As you can see, they're sitting down. Well, they were sitting down till we came. So they're standing up here. I'm doing a bit of stretching there. Lovely and comfortable on a bit of straw. Nice loose straw sitting on the slats. We have our bars in. One side we have the calves and the other side the cows are. Now we can move these bars up and down depending as the calves get a little bit bigger then we can, uh, we can move them up and down. The cows are on this side. Cows keep quite clean and the fact that they're on the rubber mats here too is, is comfortable, comfortable as well. But at least we don't have to be bedding the, the cows all the time. We just have to keep bedding the, the calves and the, and the loose straw is on the slats here so we can still clean it and any, any of the, the liquid goes down into the slat and then we can just keep this topped up with a bit of straw and we clean it every so often. See the calf is able to go in here into where the cows are, they're able to have a suck and go back then onto the bed of straw. So then just in with the calves here we have this rubber in the door pushes out and we have it strapped down and stuff to breeze coming in but we can feed the calves as they get bigger then as well so we have that option. So you can see there's nine bays down along all the cows down here and then the cows are just in the a very way. clever way of doing the number system so all the calves numbers are on each pillar so not only are they on from the inside looking out but they're also on the outside of the pillar so we know exactly what calves should be in with what cows because sometimes they might although they haven't yet they could come out through the barriers there. So I'm just here now with Jack and Alan who works on the farm with us uh, when he's not busy at home. You do have... We've suckers and sheep at home there, so they be all the time. Busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll be busy this time of year now and towards the back end of the year you'll be busy calving and that yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah. I, when you, and when you're finished here you go home and Go home work. and do more work and yeah. when I'm not at home I'm here working, so yeah, there's so always something to be done. Always something. Always you probably something. don't even know what day of the week No, is that's the problem. It's one Seven day days a week. Another. That's it. And the spuds will be starting now soon. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So it's just we all go then. Never ending. So here we have a few of the cows and calves. We have more, as you would have seen in the liebacks, but this would have been the silage pit at the start of the year. And then as it was eaten back, then we made it a shed. So yeah. these are probably what, the youngest? These are the youngest calves now. And are up here. These would be the last that would have came from home up to here. Mm. And they'll be staying here now. We have nine cows and nine calves in here. Yeah, so there's plenty um, of space. There's plenty of space, a good airy shed. You have a great breeze blowing there that day now yeah. compared to maybe some of your other sheds that get a bit clammy and stuffy. But um, no, very rare of a problem in this shed. Yeah, very good. So we're just here in pit two now. So the second side is pit, the other one's just across that wall that we were in there previous. Just want to point out here uh, the way we separate the silage and the shed, or the silage, yeah, from the calves. So there he has put the pallets there, tied them with twine, stop the cows eating the twine yeah. because that's what they do and then the should a bale will fall in and just becomes a bit of a mess so at least that's a tidier job isn't yeah. it jack and at the back of it there you pull the sheet before you close up the pit you pull the sheet down and when the bales are up again the plastic you get a good seal yeah yeah good seal it keeps it nice and tight it keeps the plastic tight keeps the air over keeps the air and hopefully now it should keep until we need to feed it again mm. stops yeah. the cows poking and scratching at it there too so yeah it's a, it's a good job, a great job. A bit of shelter too off the bales. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, shelter keeps yeah. out the low breeze, so. Yeah, it keeps the, at least the air can go. Air, you've got the airflow the straight through the shed. Because the front of the shed is just wide open, so. Yeah. Keeps the air in, but not too much air. No, as you can see there, the bed is good and dry. So they got bedded there today, and that'll do them then for the weekend, so the boys aren't busy then on Sundays. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Try yeah. Keep the, That's it. Keeps the working to do on work Sunday. Down. Yeah. So as you can see, the Waynelands are just here. Jack has fed them there. About an hour ago, was it? About an hour ago, yeah. Yeah, about so an hour ago. Your daily routine then, when you come up here... Right, so when you come in here, the first thing you do is you walk all your stock. Yeah. Start with the calves. And then the Make lower. sure they're mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Which, checking out for... Uh, if one got a hurt or if you had a sore navel, a hard navel, hopefully now you shouldn't have any problems with scour, but you just check them all and make sure they're all 100%. Yeah, yeah. Then you move on to your wainlands then, walk all your wainlands, make sure they're thriving, putting on plenty of weight, mm. make sure they're nothing lame, no injuries, just general animal welfare, yeah, make sure everything's slats above board. Slip on them and stuff. Aye, slats when they're pulling one another there, they can slip or get hurt, but um, mm. usually now 90% of the time you'd have no problems. Yeah, no the odd lame one. So you live the odd lame one, every farm will have that, but um, once you've your stock walk, then you can kind of move on towards focusing on feeding there, push in the feed, 
get a mix on if you had another lad with you or if there was a shed to be cleaned out you could be at it and bedding mm. and then maybe around 11 to 12 o'clock then you'd throw out your feed to the weanlands and then if the cows sometimes we'd feed the cows every second day or we might feed them give them one feed that'll do them two days yeah um you'd always feed your weanlands first and then your cows yeah and then you check the stock before you feed the weanlands check, yeah. because They'd be, they'd be, the they'd be up eating and you, you wouldn't get a good look at them at no, all. No, no, yeah, you'd want to be walking around and making yeah. sure that they're all right and they're yeah. walking okay. The calves are fairly content now, they're getting that bit bigger now. The calves they? are getting stronger now. Oh, the the lightbacks are a good job. They'd be, uh, they'd be nice and cosy in there at the minute, but it's, oh look, another six weeks now you'd be hoping to turn a lot of them out. They'd be just getting that bit stronger now, they mightn't be getting under the bar as such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should um, we stop getting all this rain. We stop getting all this rain. That was right. We get them out. Yeah, get so them out. But uh, the cows here feed in front. You can kind of see they'll get fed then tomorrow. So that does them two. It's two day feeding, isn't it? Two day feeding. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then a bit of meal just to keep them happy. A bit of meal to keep them happy and keep the bit of milk flowing. Yeah. 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 So uh, the soil is very good this year now. Soil is good. Yeah, it is good quality. Ah, it is good quality. You, you know, got lucky there last year. Couldn't fault it. And it was just you good land, fault. good weather. But uh, no, we've ni nine pens there at the minute, and roughly, oh, if you take an average of about seven cows and seven calves per pen. Yeah. Uh, it works out well, no, it works no, out very well. Um, so, we just have one pen of the bulls, three bulls in it there now. They're going on happy enough to add time. They'd love to be in next door, but yeah. they just can't be allowed. <laughs> they can't be allowed there, no, no. Or we'd no. be calving the whole time. So, we have a new bull there that we got last year. And yeah. he was let out, so we have a few nice calves off that. Good, this good year, calves off him there this year now, off a couple of the first calvers. Yeah. There's a couple of them here and pit one, we'll go in and have yeah, a look. We'll go in here uh, now and have a look at the calves. Nice shapey calves now, nice good heads in them. Yeah, there's one yeah. of the calves off to new bull. Nice spotty calf, nice head in them. Yeah. Would be a good back end for them too, a yeah, bit of yeah. shape. It's hyper there as well. It's a bit of shape, yeah, good lively yeah, calf now. Jumpy one. Yeah, and then there's another, there's another one off him as well. Yeah. Nice small head now, you don't want a too, too big a no, head. No, no. You get through difficulty calving now, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah, calving themselves. Really plenty of milk now, nice, nothing too big, nothing too small. No, no. He's throwing nice calves now. What's there he's saying about the. Sh mm, oh, a, 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 a live elephant better than a. No, a live mouse is better, better than, than a dead, dead elephant. Dead elephant. That's, yeah, right, so. that's right, that's right. If they're dead, they're no good to you, no. so we like having a nice small calf and then should yeah. they thrive after that. Like oh, they do, they thrive. Now, you, you won't know these calves in a week's time. Once these calves get a week, yeah. you won't know them. So they're only how old are they? Oh, these calves, some of them are only a fortnight old. Yeah, no, they're not. They're you not. could have some maybe touched, yeah, three weeks maybe. Mm. But, oh, um, flying there now. Ah, it's a great shed there, they get a great run up along, it's a great stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, me and Jack are just in here now, we're in pen. Is it four? Two. Tree. Tree. Pen tree. Pen tree. Yeah. And there's this calf, 995. And he's a lively old fella. He'll uh, be some crack. He'll just be head button, yeah, he'll be eating the trousers off, yeah. He uh, he's just like a pet like a pet calf. That's all. He's like all a is. dog. You have some of them very friendly and you have some of them mad like it. Yeah. Now there's a couple of strong calves there, they'd be oh six weeks old a lot of them. Mm. You can see they're doing well now, they're doing a bit of a jump. Yeah, the thing about the stabilizers or calves is just four and small, but they they thrive. They thrive. They, they, they thrive, thrive fairly quick. quickly. Even there with the bulls, your whaling bulls, the weight gain would be it'd be fairly good. Like yeah. it'd be fairly strong. Yeah, sure. We sold a good few last year, and yeah, your man we sold them. Your man very, very happy. Very happy. Buying them very again happy. this year, so we're actually selling a few. Half we head across there in a while. We'll show you them. Just we've any buyers. If you're looking for them, we'll yeah. sell them here. We'll no sell all. them. Sell exactly. them all. So between here and the pen behind me. Yeah. We have two pens here of heifers. Yeah, 12 heifers in each pen, 24 heifers. Yeah, we have a few of them sold already. A few of them sold already so now. Get your, get your bids in early get if you want them. Get your bids in early. Now, there's nothing wrong with a lot of the heifers. We just have ours picked out, our breeding heifers yeah. for next year. And it's just a comfortable amount. Amount You don't yeah, want yeah. too much, you don't want too little. No, exactly. So, we said we sacrifice these now for sale. A lot of good heifers in it now. They'd be only they'd be a lot of them be a year old or just touching a year old. They'd be oh, they'd be 350 now. Some of them be 400 kilos. Yeah. Some of them you could have the odd twin in it as well from last year. That mightn't just be ahead of the others. But uh, but they're on a great diet. They're on a great ration of spuds. Yeah, the, the ration is spuds, straw, meal, and silage. Yeah. 
that's the ration for all the whalings, your bulls and heifers. The spuds are handy to be feeding. The spuds are heifer, but you'd want to keep the straw wetted because if you don't keep the straw wetted, your cattle will get very watery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The soap, keep. the soap and the spuds to be that bit greasy. Yeah, yeah. Keep the keep the dung dry. Yeah, 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 keep yeah, the dung yeah. dry. That's the main thing. Yeah, so it's a very well for a complete feed. It's what 80 kg of straw. 80 kg of straw, 800 kilos of spuds. Oh, you bring it maybe two and a half, two, two, from three ton of silage, mm. and then roughly then you go 150, 120 a meal. Yeah, they're yeah. not getting that much meal this year compared to last year because the silage is that bit better. The silage is that bit better. Yeah, DMD is yeah, higher. Yeah, DMD it, so. is higher, so it's, it saves meal expenses. Yeah, which is good because the price it's is good. Oh, the price, the, the price of everything. The price of everything is going up. Can't blame just the no, meal. But no, no, no. Even building a shed there, and everyone knows yeah. the price is just not. Yeah. That's the way it's going, unfortunately. Yeah. So, as you can see behind us here, we have the quickie grab that we only got about three months ago. So, yeah. we said we'd give it a review here today. Jack yeah. has been flat out using it. You can see by the face, I don't know if Jack's good at it <laughs> or the quickie's a good job, but I'd say now it's kind of huh? a bit of both. A bit of both. Ah, well, now Derry as well, in fairness to him. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Tasty man in the loader, but uh, add some yolk now. So, great cut and a great clean cut. Like, yeah. you, say for instance, now if we had to close up that pit, we are finished feeding, we are turning stock out. If you were to close that up, it should, it should keep very well over the summer and if you were to open it up next winter say you should have very little waste because it's a great seal as you can see it's like a wall yeah it's like a wall it's solid and that's the beauty of the new shear grab good sharp shear grab it's important to keep it sharp as well yeah well they're obviously all brand new all brand it, but new but uh maintenance is key too just keep it greased and keep it sharp and you should have very little issues yeah because we used to have a problem there the pin it always go on that that's right on the old shear grab because we were kept biting into one side of yeah. it but yeah it uh no well we but, didn't uh, need new one anyway it was yeah. very old so ah, but that's some young are very happy with that yeah great investment and great investment. Yolk, you couldn't do it without you bring buckets of silage across the yard and you'd lose half it again you're throwing yeah, it into yeah, the feeder yeah, it's a mess you know but um no, no that's all delighted with it delighted with it there he is too, and yeah. we got the overalls out as well. Yeah, so overalls out yeah, too. The key it's always thing. a torrent. Kev, Sh Kev Shannon would look after you in that way, yeah. so he would. Yeah. He's as fun to you, Jack, so he is. <laughs> Wouldn't blame him. <laughs> Not the only ones uh, as you. No. <laughs> so not only when we bed them, did they go all hyper. We do pop up a few videos in the old Instagram story there, so mm -hmm. if you want to ha ha head across there, that's kind of the daily update we do give, so head across there, follow the Instagram, and then we'll keep you updated in that way as well. So. Yeah. See all the calves down along, all happy and content. Yeah, but, uh, they're, nice. they're happy in here. Oh, you do happy have a good wind have. running down in the middle of the shed, but yeah. it doesn't get in at the calves no. at the back here. No. So. no. As, you, as, you, as, you, as you look down or look up there, all the calves are lying down snug as, snug as a bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've probably got fresh bedding today. Fresh today. bedding today, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do them for the weekend. Do them. So that's all from today's video. I hope he's liked, and if you did, let me know by hitting the button. I know cattle isn't for everyone, but we just have to show all the aspects of the farming that we do. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and see you all next week. Good luck. Mm -hmm.